So, welcome to a new series. It's going to be about map making, command blocks, redstone, just to make a map. What 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 do you do to make a map? I'll give you some ideas, I'll teach you some stuff. The basic the basic understanding you need to know you just you need to know basic redstone like off state, on state, those kind of stuff. But not too much, just just basic on off states and some clocks. But if something is too complicated, just let me know in the comments and I'll explain it to you. So let's start. What you need to do is to create a new world. This is the map. It's going to be we're going to call the world Epic Map Makers, because this is an epic name. Epic Map Makers Makers. Not makers. 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 I don't know. Let's make let's go with makers actually. I feel like makers with an S will be cool. Alright, we're going to get the redstone ready preset. You just get a preset, go to world type, super flat, customize, preset. Not too hard. Now, to go to the stuff so you need to have generate structures off. Of course, allow cheats on. And yeah, let's launch that world. Now, the commands I use when I launch a world, it's basically um, slash tp zero till the zero and yeah that's that's how do I start every world I do I think it's slash to do it again then slash set world spawn slash spawn point and yeah slash game rules and those kind of stuff and like I use the game rule the daylight cycle false and I use command block output false command block output false and like keep inventory true keep inventory true mob spawning true do mob spawning slash game rule slash game rule do mob spawning true oh false I'm sorry false and well pff, just this is this basic stuff and what I do I do a big pillar for the zero zero, this is zero zero. So I remember I put a sign says it is zero zero. So if you work on a map with other players, just you put the zero zero like that. You can use control and middle bu mouse button to have a sign with an NBT like that. Use control middle mouse button. Just control and middle mouse button. This this the mouse um scroll wheel. But if you press it, it does that. All right. Well. This is basic. This is real basic. Uh, now let's time set. Time set. 6000. This is the time I figured is the best just because you look up and you see the sun. Just so every lighting will be perfectly even. Alright, now we want to start. Say I wanted to like make a puzzle map and like I wanted to have infinite resources. How do I do that? Of course it uses command block, so I'll use slash give at p and you press c o m m press tab for autocomplete and just just write this this command block this is command block and, and you can place it and say I want to have infinite resource of like a cobblestone right here right so I can take those coordinates looking at those chords I'll call it chords because I hate saying the word coordinates right so it's 4 56 and negative 3 right this, these are the coordinates so I'll use slash set block I'll use a clock running repeating command block it is epic slash set block and then I use the coordinates 4 56 negative 3 just like that right and then I use there I put cobblestone just minecraft cobblestone and I use zero and keep right keep and the keep what it does whenever there isn't a block here it will place a block which means when there is a block here it won't when there isn't a block it will right just that's what it does and it runs 20, 20 times a second it checks for a block right here and then it places another block if, if there is if there is a 
like if there is nothing right here it'll place that block all right so this is an infinite resource so yeah that's how you do it i want to like get a bit more to it like um with those kind of stuffs now say the player had a crafted a pickaxe right and we don't want them just he crafted a pickaxe so we don't we want them in adventure mode say it's in adventure mode so we want to test for the pickaxe and give him another pickaxe like clear that pickaxe and then give him another pickaxe so i'm going to use a trick from 1.8 because in 1.9 it won't work just this is a 1.8 trick the normal lovely trick like that and you use also a block like a stone block or so and then you use a command block like that you will test for this is another command test for at p then you open curly brackets just i run with it just because i want you to to just bowl and see wh how cool it is and like afterwards you can figure it out by yourself and we will test for minecraft stone underscore pick x all right that's what we're testing for all right if if the player has that right if it's true using a comparator well it's true we will clear slash clear at p and pickaxe minecraft stone pickaxe stone pickaxe all right pickaxe and one right and after this clears we want we want um we want a repeater out of that that will give the player slash give at p this is going to be only um single player compatible unfortunately i can make it way more complicated with the scoreboard but i want you to to understand it so like this this is the simple one this is remember we are beginners we don't know all of this advanced advanced stuff slash give at p and you want to give him a stone pickaxe stone underscore pickaxe pickaxe and because he has this pickaxe this stone pickaxe what we want to do we want to give him stone pickaxe one with the damage of zero right this is this is what you should do you will i will understand like everything like i will explain everything with the formula and those kind of stuff there is a formula for um for the command so yeah well and you want to make this this pickaxe like can break just just can break say just it's it's can destroy just can destroy and then you do and you put those brackets and just put um just put do cobblestone right cobble stone now if i'm in adventure mode to do this right cobblestone and now we need to run a clock right here we need to run a clock just just give me that redstone we need to run a clock because this block is not updating right now just whenever a redstone um signal will be inputted into the block it will be right just right and then we do this kind of thingy and all right just what you do is you do this right see it updated once and now we want to run a clock so we did this and this and now we said we want the clock to run this fast it won't it won't like um burn out it won't burn out right this this is going real fast right it's going real fast this is one thing of a clock that i like just because whenever we whenever you reload the chunk it won't affect it other than like the clock like this that does that um and like oh dang it i i did a huge mistake right there i meant to do and see in this clock whenever you will reload the chunk just it just it's loaded already but if you will reload it not like that not like i just did i just checked if it's working if you will just do reload the chunk it will break right it won't work anymore other than this clock that will work anytime just right and say i have a pickaxe i don't know if it works in this version but see just it did that it did that it did that 
and it gave me this pickaxe. I don't know, I didn't clear the pickaxe, but let's see. Could not clear. Um, yeah, odd. Stone underscore pickaxe. What is up with that? Just score pickaxe. Um, one. Just score pickaxe. Stone score pickaxe. Stone pickaxe at all. And now let's have a stone pick. Stone pick. And do this. And see, it replaced it. Epic, right? Epic. Now let's see what we did. If we do slash help clear, it will show us the formula. We have slash clear player. Player. The player. Item. This is the item we want to clear. The data like if it's damaged or something like that this is complicated the data thingy max count which is basically how many you want to clear so if I'll do like um, where is it at if I would do like um, stone pickaxe zero one it will always clear one right and say I would like um, do a pick like that and like I, I will have two picks just I'll have two picks won't work I can do it only once or I just say I'm going to have like I don't know just whatever did you you understand it right you, un you quite understand it this is an infinite resource just to make a, a crafting puzzle and this is this is the replacer just you understand how it works just pickaxe and now you did this and it gives me that and say I was in adventure mode and just take a chest let's take a chest like that and and just just in this chest I'm going to, to shove pickaxe in I'm going to break this clock just for now and I'm going to put some pickaxes in say I want a pickaxe just and I want a pickaxe and I want tons of pickaxes in this chest just want like have I don't know four of them five of them right say six just right and then I will reconnect it and now say I was in adventure mode slash game mode 2 right so we did this and we take one pick and it gives us that pick see we have now this pick and we can mine infinitely Just see that's that's that simple that is that simple and you can do with this thingy just the same same stuff like say uh, I'll show you just we want to test if the player has like I don't know we want him to craft um, um, let's see we want them to to have like coarse dirt say coarse dirt is the mission here slash game mode one say he needs to craft um, coarse dirt so let's change change it to dirt to dirt right see and then it will be infinite dirt and we'll do this and we'll do this and we'll change it to a shovel everywhere change it to a shovel shovel right there and to do this and do stone shovel stone shovel right just this is just an example I want to show you something and then we'll do a stone shovel that can destroy that can break, can destroy um, dirt and besides dirt he can also break um, he can also break gravel so remember the mission is to create coarse dirt so we have this like that and then we do the same thingy and we do this like that and we get the coordinate this is F3 and this is towards negative X so if it's this is like I don't know where is it at but just if it's negative x we will subtract of the x2 it will be right there and just we'll call it gravel watch gravel and then we do this and see infinite gravel lovely right now just uh, let's do this let's um, clear that and now we want a shovel right and it will work with a stone shovel see and it gives us and it gave and it gave us the shovel now say I'll turn it off now say the mission to create coarse dirt right 
So we're going to make another clock like that. We'll take this block, remember, um, middle mouse button and um, control makes that. Just, just, and we'll do another of those. Just, and we'll do another of those. Or I just, we don't want to do this. Just, just we'll do this. Whenever, just we do this, and then we take a repeater, take a comparator, take this, and take this, and take this. Right now, we have, we want to make the same thing. Or I just, you need to have everything organized like that. Or I just, dude, it's, it can be amazing. If you do it right, it can be really fun. Just, just it can be r so much fun. Just, the idea we can put a repeater right here to make it even more, um, like, um, even smaller right here, just, oh, no, it won't work, it's like, yeah, it ain't, um, yeah, yep, it won't work for some reason, oh, right, I forgot that it is, wait, let's see, see, and now, yeah, it just, it turns off that, dang it, Stu, just dude, trying to make some compatible stuff, just, right, you understand, now, we can just do this, right? We can do this and this and this. And when I get a shovel, just it's all it's all you you try and learn. You try and learn. And it really gives me the same shovel. Alright. Now say we want to test for the same thingy. Right? We want to test for this just not for the stone shovel. Go for Minecraft dirt. But it's it's going to be coarse dirt. If we search for coarse dirt going to be a Minecraft dirt but it has a data tag of one you see that slash one thingy so if you use the, w the keyword damage damage I think it's damaged with a capital D damage and you do it and you equalize it to one it will check for only coarse dirt and it'll now clear coarse dirt it'll clear Minecraft dirt one one and now say I oh, we need to run that clock just we're going to do this and this and this and this and now we're doing this and we're doing this we want to make everything so good and stuff so alright and then let's put this right here and it's running say now we have coarse dirt right here let's see Alright, uh, I think it's damage 1B or 1S. This S is important. Yes, it is 1S. Now, after this is true, we'll say, we'll say clear at P. Just clear it. Clearing, clear. Just clear at P all, right? Just think, clears everything. And then it says, um, let's get rid of those command blocks. Take a normal command block. We will title it, slash title at P. This is a new command. Title. Title. Tull, tull, tull. Slash title at p title and this is a new command uh, you will learn throughout we're going to make a map eventually but I just I want to learn you basic stuff just title at p title and then you do text you gotta put everything in those um in those um yeah quotes double quotes there and you say like congrats congrats you complete congrats and then say we want to um, subtitle slash title at p subtitle which is the title under the title and it would say text you completed the level you completed the level lovely congrats you completed the level then just cool stuff right it will work because this is powered you just you need to understand redstone here but this power this and that and then this is also powered right then run this and put the repeater right there and whenever I have dirt but coarse dirt coarse dirt it will do congrats you completed a level but say we wanted it a bit colored so we do like this and then you do color you do do just color color like that and then you do this and then you do red and then say you want this gold so you do color and then you do 
gold. Easy, right? It is. It's not so complicated. If it's too complicated, just let me know in the comments. Now, say we have, we're going to to run through the level and those kind of stuff. So let's do slash game mode two. And now, say we get um, I forgot to put the shovels right there. Um, but let's do game mode one. And now let's do this. Break that clock. And now let's get a shovel. Shovel. Right there. And come on, give me that shovel. Put it right here. Put like four. Will be enough. And we'll reconnect it. And we'll get rid of this. And we'll go back to game mode two. Just and now say we get a shovel. And this is the shovel, right? You can break it. See? And we can get it. And it's a bit glitchy right there, but that ain't the problem. And now you get it. I if you close it in a closed room, like of like I don't know, five by five, it will land in inside the room. I assume. I d I think it won't do you too too much of a problem. But to to craft that coarse dirt we need to do this and then we do this and then congrats you completed a level so we have a first level now right I think I think I'm right dude we have the first level slash game would end I forgot to put it on peaceful peaceful is the game alright I usually do it in peaceful so you see infinite resources replace title right basic stuff well, hope you enjoyed. Let me know if it was useful in the comments and let me know if you want to see more of this series because I, I just, I enjoy those stuff. I enjoy it. I definitely enjoy it. Alright, and let me know if you enjoy it too because cause I think it's really fun. And yeah, that was a cool little episode of how to do those stuff. You saw the replacement, you saw infinite resources. Of course, I messed up breaking, but infinite resources right there, infinite resource, replacement, see replacing and yeah and like testing and those kind of stuffs and hope it, it was useful if it was useful please like that video and comment as well and yeah please subscribe if you haven't already and thank you all so much for watching I will see you next time for another video